photon is the only energy to maintain all kinds of life on Earth. Albert Einstein said, everything in life is vibration. All kinds of life on Earth are direct or indirect photon eaters. Plants can use water, inorganic salts and carbon dioxide to growth up because they are all direct photon eaters. The vast majority of the energy potentially available for use on Earth arrives in the form of visible light from the sun. Plants have evolved to do an efficient job of capturing some of that photons and storing it as potential energy in organic molecules. Bacteria or archaea that live in hostile environments, such as deep sea vents in dark regions of the oceans are the primary producers in such ecosystems. Iron oxidizing bacteria derive their energy needs by oxidizing iron 2 to iron 3 in the deep rock they obtain their hydrogen from the thermal and radioactive breakdown of water. Inorganic molecules, hydrogen gas, iron, manganese, hydrogen sulfide or methane act as a source of energy, rather than sunlight. The yielding electrons from the low ionization energy elements are captured by high electronegativity elements and at same time, photon energy is released from the captured electrons. After fluorine, oxygen is the next highest in electronegativity at 3.44, and this has enormous consequences in practice. Since oxygen is the most abundant element on the Earth, its high chemical activity makes it a part of most common substances. Its electronegativity leads to the polar nature of the water molecule and contributes to the remarkable properties of water. Photon energy stored in organic molecules must be transferred to ATP by a substrate level or oxidative phosphorylation, then can be used by life. Adenosine triphosphate is the photon energy currency of life and it provides that energy for most biological processes by being converted to adenosine diphosphate. Coded photon energy flow is the top secret of life. Thank you.